young fresh kimchi can never make this flavor. Only the old kimchi can do this job. Mm. And somehow this guy My last meal would be kimchi jjigae and kubot kimchi jjigae Said this So Uncle Roger's favorite Korean dish is also my favorite Korean dish Don't throw your old kimchi This will make great kimchi jjigae When you just bought a kimchi It's beautiful, it's fresh But at the end of the kimchi's life It can get a little bit not looking pretty and everything But well, you know what? This got all the fermentation And it's matured old enough So it will make great soup When I woke up this morning I wanted to have kimchi jjigae But I didn't want to go to grocery I don't have scallion I don't have green onion I don't have anything But just kimchi and pork will be enough for the kimchi jjigae. I don't even remember when I bought it. And also this fridge is not the best for keeping your kimchi fresh. We have a specific fridge that is just designed for kimchi. We call it kimchi fridge. And my small apartment doesn't have that because it takes a lot of space. So this little fridge, you know, you open and close and open and close like this. The temperature of kimchi wouldn't be consistent. So my kimchi after three or four months would get over fermented or the fermentation is not how I want it. So it got very old. I won't talk too much. Let's get straight to the point. It can be canned tuna. It can be pork shoulder, it can be bacon. I'm not sure about it because the classic Korean recipe for kimchi jjigae is always with fresh pork. A little bit of canola oil and sesame oil. I mix it. Time has come, but I don't want this kimchi to be thrown away because it's perfect for jjigae. And I'm going to basically stir fry kimchi. Some people prefer clear, pure soup without stir frying kimchi and pork together. But I prefer the rich, thick, strong flavor. At this point, I like to put just a little bit of sugar. Small, big, doesn't matter. And some soju, and some pepper. I'm gonna add water, but not the regular one, the special one. This is the water that I use for washing my rice off because this got a very good starch from the rice. This is what we do. Similar to Italian people using the pasta water that they boil the spaghetti with for the sauce of the pasta. Now it's time to upgrade our soup. So we're gonna do a little bit of seasoning. Soy sauce, tuna extract, little bit of anchovy extract, and a little bit of salt. As Korean, I just want a little bit of extra spices. And this depends on how spicy your kimchi is. Some kimchi is less spicy and some kimchi is super spicy. So I don't want to believe the recipe that say put two tablespoons of chili flakes, three tablespoons, you just have to taste it. And it also depends on how spicy your chili flakes is. If there is any dish that you want me to make, just comment below and I will cook for you and you just watch, I mean, you watch. Thank you.